Hey everybody, Eric Nathy with MountModernLife.com. Not sure if any of you guys have dealt with mice or you're currently dealing with a mice problem in your RV, but uh, that's something Katie and I have been uh, dealing with here for a little bit. Now, last week we'd come out with a video basically letting you know that we had a mouse problem. We were figuring out the best way to conquer it and really take, take a hold of it. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to keep it as natural as possible, but create more of a deterrent that actually kept the mice out and not even coming in the RV versus catching them once they got in or um, getting them in traditional mouse traps. Um, so last week I had mentioned we were going to go ahead and we were going to test 100% pure mint oil and for us it was actually really convenient because my uncle and uh, my family has actually been farming mint oil since 1953 so I talked to them and they had a little bit lying around um, so that's the approach we went with. Uh, before we go any further, I guess I'll give you a little bit of backstory about how our mouse, mouse problem came to happen and um, how we dealt with it along the way. So when we got up here, it was about three days after we had been here in Wisconsin where we found our first mouse. And that night we were a little worried because we actually heard him up in the walls kind of working on some of our wires. So we went out and we grabbed a couple mouse traps and then uh, we ended up starting catching them basically on a daily basis or at the very most or very least every other day. Um, so we went probably about a three weeks uh, at that pace um, and we tried the bounce sheets and various other options in order to keep the mouse out or mice out and it wasn't really working and then that's when we went over to my uncle and uh, started deciding to test out the mint oil. Um, so last week after the video we came out and we distributed mint oil all around the RV. Uh, we did it underneath near the engine also in all of the storage bays that have holes where mice could possibly get in. Um, and uh, so then we did all that, we put the mint oil throughout the RV and we went five days without having a mouse or any signs of mice droppings or tore up paper, anything like that in our RV. Um, and as far as inside the RV, we've had no signs of mice uh, since we did that. But on the fifth day, we did end up catching a mouse over here in our water and electric bay. Now I started thinking about it and I was like, that's weird. We were getting them every other day and uh, we haven't had any signs of any mice anywhere else in the RV. Why would there have been one in that bay? And then I started thinking about it and last week when I actually put the mint oil into the RV and all over the place, this last section, I was actually getting lower in my container of my mint oil and I had one cotton ball left and I was like, well, this should do the trick. And I just put a little bit on there and threw it in there. Now, looking back on it, hindsight's 2020, I noticed that in all the other bays and inside the RV and by the engine, I had put uh, quite a bit more mint oil in those sections than I did in this electrical bay. Um, so going from catching a mouse every day to every other day to not having any mouse activity for five days and then uh, getting one, uh, it was kind of disappointing. But at the same time, um, we had developed a routine where every morning I was checking for mice. That was the first thing I did when I got up. And then to have those five days without finding a mouse, it was uh, extremely exciting. So what we did is we decided to re-up and redistribute the mint oil in, a, I guess, a more fluid manner where everything was evenly dispersed and uh, better able to uh, deter the mice. So we did that about two days ago, and so far, again, we have no signs of mouse or mice. So we're uh, extremely excited about the mint oil uh, activity and how it's working. But next week, I'll give you another update, kind of let you know how we how long we go this time. And uh, hopefully I keep waking up every morning to check for mice and not finding any. Um, also, too, a little side note, want to let you know I am working on a post um, about this that we're going to be putting up over on MountainModernLife.com. That's going to kind of highlight how much mint oil we used, how many cotton balls, um, and really the approach we took in order to uh, use this method to deter the mice from entering the RV in the first place. Um, but uh, thank you much, as always, for swinging by and viewing our video, and we'll see you guys again soon.